Hey, Frank. Oh, uh, uh, researching light techniques. What's uh, what's up? No, oh, I'm researching lights also. Uh, I'm looking for lights for our kit. And in the specs, it says lumens, and then some of them say lux. I don't remember what the difference is. Lux and lumens, yeah. Well, lumens are the SI-derived unit of luminous flux, a measure of the total quantity of visible light emitted by a source. It's defined in relation to that candela as one lumen is equal to one candela times a steradian. If a light source emits one candela of luminous intensity uniformly across a solid angle of one steradian, the total luminous flux emitted into that angle is one lumen. Alternatively, an isotrope of one candela light source admits a total luminous flux of exactly four times pi lumens. If the source were partially covered, of course, by an ideal absorbing hemisphere, Dude. then... Dude, not only am I not following you, but now my head hurts. Oh, so, uh, sorry. And wait a minute, how are you rattling off all this info? I mean, you can barely remember two lines when you record your videos. Welcome to Pull My Focus, daring and exciting activities from the province where the formation of sequential images causes spectators to perceive continuous motion between separate objects viewed rapidly in succession. Adventures in the world of video filmmaking. Isn't that what I just said? So you've probably heard of lumens and lux and foot candles and maybe even candelas before. Uh, lumens and lux are metric, uh, candelas and foot candles are imperial. Lumens and candelas refer to the total light output of a source. Lux and foot candles refer to the light falling on an area, that is, the light illuminating our subject. Lux and foot candles are more useful to us in film and video business and what you'll see listed in the specs for an industry light. They'll be listed with a distance, like one meter or three feet, which is one meter. But without that distance, it's useless. The farther away you get from the light, the lower the light level goes down. So you need to know what distance that measurement was taken from. Otherwise, it's meaningless. Now, if the spec gives you lux and you're used to foot candles, no problem, there's an easy conversion. 10.76 lux equals one foot candle. So if you have a light that's listed at 8,000 lux at one meter, just divide 8,000 by 10.76, or actually just make it easier and just divide it by 10. For foot candles, just go in the opposite direction. Multiply the foot candles by 10 to get lux. Now you see some specs that don't list lux or foot candles at all, especially when you're looking at commercial lights like CFLs, fluorescent tubes, or LED bulbs. That's when you run into lumens. Not very useful to us, but very useful to architects and industrial lighting designers. They have very complicated formulas and tables that help them figure out the total number of lumens needed to light a huge office space uh, during the day or uh, a, a large warehouse. Very important when you have to order thousands, if not tens of thousands of fixtures and lights to uh, illuminate every single floor in a skyscraper. Probably don't want to get your calculations wrong there. Just saying. But for us, here's the issue. This CFL is rated at 1600 lumens. Okay, but that lumen output is being spread out all over the place, 360 degrees. So at three feet away, how much of that output is actually falling on your subject? Me. The only way to know is to test it and take your own reading. Here I'm getting about 40 foot candles. If I use two of these bulbs, or even four, now I know I'm going to get double or quadruple that light output. If I put them in a softbox with a reflective back to harness more of that 360 degree light output, I'll still need to take another reading to get my own specs. What about this four foot fluorescent tube? It's rated at 2,850 lumens. The fixture I use takes two bulbs, so that's 5,700 lumens. Sounds pretty good. At three feet, I get 80 foot candles, roughly 800 lux. You would think it would be higher, I mean 5,700 lumens, come on. But a four foot fluorescent is a much wider source than this CFL, which means it's outputting all those lumens over a wider area. So when you're on non-industry sites like Amazon, 
Even when you're looking at lights specific to the film and video business, realize that the specs there are posted by the seller and may only list lumens or some weird lumen lux hybrid like this. What the hell is that? Ultimately, nothing beats using and testing the lights yourself to figure out what foot candles or lux reading you're gonna get at what distance. Now that's kind of a bummer, especially if you're planning on spending, you know, 500, a thousand bucks or more on a, on a light. You'd like to, you know, know what you're getting beforehand. So it just may mean you have to do a little bit more research to dig it up or contact the manufacturer directly or rent the light unit and do your own tests. If you like additional info, there's some great links in the description below to articles by Sarish Sudhakaran uh, on wolfcrow.com as well as Andy Shipside's uh, over at hdvideopro.com. Uh, these guys are great and they get into some really interesting stuff uh, and some hardcore math if you're into that thing. Thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. We will be your friend forever. And uh, check out our other videos uh, covering production, post-production, and all that fun stuff. Catch you on the next one. What's that? Do you guys hear that? Time to sit down. <laughs>